All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to Cutabo Space Program, where today we are having a look at the Je ne sais quoi mod, or JNSQ, which is being made by Team Galileo. And what this glorious little piece of work looks at into the game is a serious overhaul of the stock solar system. And by that I mean it uh, moves around pretty much all of the existing stock planets, as well as changing their size, shape, textures, and, of course, adding in a whole load of new celestial bodies. So let's jump into the tracking station and start having a look at what we do get here. Now, I should mention a few things right off the bat. And the first is that uh, this mod, of course, relies on Copernicus, which at the moment of uh, this video recording is only available up to version 1.7 of the game so if you're playing around with the new expansion this mod will not work you have to revert to 1.7 uh, also another thing to keep in mind with this is that this mod is a very much sort of geared towards a more hardcore realistic playthrough of the game as first and foremost it's a lot bigger it's about if i'm remembering what the mod page said correctly 2.7 times the size of the stock solar system and it also comes pre-bundled with a new plugin called realistic resources which makes all of the mineable resources in the game a whole lot more scarce so yes it's gonna be a lot more difficult of a time playing around in this lovely new solar system but let's start in the center of it all at the Sun and work our way out from there to see all the new lovely things now some of the planets in etc are in roughly the same place but a lot of things have been moved and our uh, first planet here of uh, moho has had a oh just gorgeous texture revamping and uh, as i did mention before all the new or all the stock planets have gotten new textures and they are all oh, gorgeous like truly wonderful and as for the new size of this one it is 650 kilometers in a size which is pretty darn big now next of course we have eve which is very nice looking i like the new eve and now it is 2050 kilometers in size and of course with an atmosphere intact which is always nice to see and then we have the moon of a gili a small little asteroid moon here 30 kilometers in size not the greatest of new textures but you know what still pretty darn good looking and then we have Kerbin, which has had a serious overhaul of its looks here, which is just magnific magnificent. There's the right word there. And is 1,600 kilometers in size, of course. Still has an atmosphere. Got to keep all those Kerbals breathing. And all in all, just looks spectacular. I really do like the new world. And of course, the moon has also had a bit of a facelift here and is looking beautiful with its new textures and 400 kilometers in size moho is a bit less um moundy again this mod is geared more towards realism so just the weird little ice cream scoop in the sky is replaced with a more realist realistic looking moon and is 160 kilometers in size now next we have a duna which is looking a lot more Mars-esque and is now 800 kilometers in size but looking very good there with its thin thin atmosphere and then we have the new Ike which is 210 kilometers in size and looking almost identical to the moon but you know what still looks good we then have Edna, which is 260 kilometers in size and a lovely pot-marked little world with no atmosphere. We then have Dak, a lovely little asteroid moon here at 20 kilometers in size. After that, we have the new Drez, which is, again, you know, just a nice rocky world, 360 kilometers in size. We then have the new Jewel, which is 14,000 kilometers in size and looking pretty good. Very green. With its first moon being Lathe here, with a just gorgeous ocean world here, 1,100 kilometers in size, and I think my favorite thing in the new uh, the new mod here. I love you know the nice look of uh, Jewel there on this beautiful ocean world. 
and then we have a Val, which looking good with its new textures and 550 kilometers in size. We then have Tylo with a thin atmosphere and 900 kilometers in size. And then after that, we've got the new Bop, which is 190 kilometers in size and looking all good and brown. We then have Pull, a bit greenish and a little sickly looking. And a little sickly looking, but good. I like it. And 130 kilometers in size. We then have Lindor, which every time I come to this planet, I just think of the truffles. But this is this is definitely not that. It's just a big old gas giant. 8,000 kilometers in size with, of course, an atmosphere. But one you wouldn't want to go into. Just a nice big blue ball up in there. And then we have Krell, 150 kilometers in size. Just a lovely little rocky moon right there. We then after that have Aiden, 300 kilometers in size, a very nice looking world. After that we do have Raiga, 750 kilometers in size with a thin atmosphere around it. We then have Talos, worship it, with 500 kilometers in size there, no atmosphere present on this one, but just another nice rocky world. After that, we have Hammock, which I think is my favorite of the new worlds. I like the texturing on it very much. It looks very good. And 450 kilometers in size. Just a nice little planet there. I like it. And then we have the new Elu, which just has oh, beautiful texturing done to it. And 600 kilometers in size now with a thin atmosphere. We then have a Celes, which is just a lovely little moon for it, with 200 kilometers in size there. And then Tam, a nice little asteroid just floating through the solar system, 10 kilometers in size. So a very small little thing, a nice challenge to perhaps land on. And then we have a Nara, 3,600 kilometers in size, a very, very large rocky world with a thin atmosphere, very nice looking. After that, we have its moon of Amos, another very nicely textured one. I like it, a bit darker looking than many others, but very cool, 320 kilometers in size. After that, we have Enon, another lovely textured world, 700 kilometers in size. It reminds me of something, but for the life of me, I can't put my finger on it. I don't know. It's going to bother me for a while. Hmm. All right, moving on. We then have Prax, 110 kilometers in size, a tiny little thing, but, uh, you know, a lovely lovely little moon far out there and then we're back to the sun so yes that is all of the changed edited and new celestial bodies here in je ne sais quoi so let's go and uh, jump on my viewmatic survey satellite here which is around lathe as i said it's i think my favorite overall thing in this because man come on just big blue beautiful ocean world orbiting around a gas giant. How could you not love that view? In fact, I'm gonna slightly edit the view so we can see both of them a little bit better. And there we go, much nicer. And yes, it's just a lovely view from up here. Cause I mean, come on, how could you not love that? You got the sun all the way in the distance, our beautiful gas giant, and our glorious new vacation world. But yes, that is the JNSQ, or je ne sais quoi mod, an absolutely wonderful change to the stock system. I very much enjoy all the amazing new textures, the larger sizes of the world if you are wanting, of course, to do a harder playthrough. And of course, just all the new things, I think very much do add very well to the whole Kerbal experience. Now that realistic resources plugin, eh, again, if you're looking for a ha more hardcore playthrough, that's awesome. And it also has the ability to be uh, compatible with other mods, so if more modders might start to use it as well, which I think would be quite interesting. Me, though, I'm already not great at the resource gathering, so eh, 
I might choose to take it out, but that is always an option. You can always take that out of the game data folder. But all in all, I think it's a good addition. And overall, I think this is well worth having a look at. So if you'd like to do so, you can have a look at the link in the description as per usual. But that is going to be it for this episode, my friends. I hope you all have enjoyed and that you do come back for the next episode when hopefully we'll be looking at yet another wonderful mod. But until that time, thank you for watching and as always... Have a good one!